All right, so if you're here by accident or you're here on purpose, whatever the reason you are here right now looking at me is, uh, it's for a good reason, it's for a good cause. So don't go anywhere, just stay hooked. I'm gonna just introduce myself first of all and tell you why I'm here. My name, my real name, my original name is Akintaro Akimulero. However, my brand name, my photography name, my work name is Akintaro Timmy Photography. I am a professional wedding photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, I shoot predominantly weddings, but I generally just love photography. Why am I here? Um, I am here to talk, which is kind of obvious, but it's more than just talking. I'm here to give tips and tutorials uh, on wedding photography uh, from my knowledge and uh, as it relates to the industry in Lagos, Nigeria, which is kind of different from the global industry, but I will dive into that much later. I've been shooting weddings for the past uh, six, seven years, and I am so blessed and so grateful to God that I am not stuck in one place. Like I shoot weddings outside the country as well. I have shot weddings in the far east, the far west, you know, in London, you <laughs> almost in London and the UK. Hey, London, um, Manchester, uh, the US, uh, we're in Africa, uh, Cape Town, South Africa, uh, Kenya, uh, France, Greece, Italy, plenty. But I'm saying this in all humility to encourage whoever is watching to let you know that this is very possible for your Demot. Demot in this context is where you stay, where you are currently at. Is that what Demot is? I hope. All right, so. Um, what would I use this platform for? Well, for most people, knowledge is power. I think it's just Game of Thrones that power is power. It kind of makes sense there as well. But for most people, knowledge is power. And I'm from, um, I don't want to stereotype this or you know, streamline this to just Nigerians, right? I think generally people just believe this way, that if you amass uh, so much knowledge about something, why would you give it out for free, especially if you paid for it? Uh, but I will feel some form of injustice if I don't give back to the community that I learned so much from. And that community is YouTube. I've learned tons of stuff from YouTube. So when people come and meet me and ask me, so what school did you go to to learn photography? Where'd you? I'm like, bruh, like just Google stuff or YouTube stuff, right? So I would say 70% of what I knew starting and what I probably still know now, I learned a lot from YouTube. So here I am trying to, you know, do my little bit giving back uh there are tons of videos out there with respect to wedding photography right so why would mine be different well i think mine will be different because i am talking about photography and wedding photography in relation to where i come from where i live which is lagos nigeria and and that may not make sense to you if you don't live here but bruh yo it is something else completely here i'll give an example for instance so when I travel out to work, um, um, my clients pay per hour. They pay for my time because they appreciate my time, right? And they're paying for my time. So if they tell me that they need me for six hours, I build them for six hours. And after six hours, if they need me for some more time, they either pay some extra or I leave. But here, hey, hmm, man, it is very, very different. They don't give a flying F right i mean planners will tell you to be at the bride's place by 5 a.m 5 a.m even the planner is not awake by 5 a.m it is so frustrating so uh uh with this channel i would i would let you know how i've been able to walk around the injustice or the 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 disadvantages the things that don't really go well here how i've been able to walk around them to use them to my advantage. I can give you another instance. Uh, uh, growing up, you know, in photography, I would always complain or nag or say, oh, this guy's pictures look better than mine because he's not based in Nigeria, because he's based in the States, right? And um, I meant that with respect to location because we're not really sports for choice yet. Don't get me wrong. Lagos is very developed. Okay, we have pretty nice places, but it's not... We're not really on that level where I think you can just go out and walk to any random street and take picturesque uh, images. You still can, but growing up, I, I just always thought the reason why this guy's pictures have looked nicer or he has more likes is because of the location. I was right and I was wrong, okay? I was right because, yes, I'm not even going to tell you that locations doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. Locations do matter, right? However, uh, 
my approach was wrong, okay? Learning the basics, training your eye is the major thing. Once you can train your eye, then you can use your location to your advantage. So that is also what I'm going to teach you guys, what I'm going to show you guys, you know, how I've been able to train my eye to make do, make the most of my environment. Okay. So this, this channel is not just for professional wedding photographers. It's for anyone who intends to learn a little bit of photography. Um, I will start from the basics and I will just, you know, keep you guys updated. The plan is to release a video every other week. I really hope that's possible because I still have a proper job and editing is a lot of work, but I'll try to make it uh, as seamless as possible. Uh, so all you have to do is subscribe and click on that notification, you know, icon so that once I upload stuff, you're the first to get it and comment and ask me questions because I am always, always going to be ready to answer all your questions. So what would you, what would you gain by following me? People never really tell you that, you know, they just tell you, subscribe subscribe but they don't tell you what you gain by subscribing uh well well you get a lot of knowledge duh, uh, uh about photography uh from my perspective from my journey i think that is what makes it different when you go on google you get like a generic um uh, uh form of knowledge right but this one and there's nothing wrong with that but this one is kind of streamlined based on my um experience and they say experience is the best issue right so i feel like for every scenario uh, uh, that you may think of, I've probably gone through it and I can, I can tell you how I was able to tackle it or how I would tackle it if it should happen again, cause I've learned from it. So that is a huge objective of this channel, right? To be able to teach you stuff based on my experience so that you don't make the same mistakes that I made. Okay. So that your, your, your photography journey will be seamless. Look at me as your mentor. Okay. For now <laughs> all right so for your viewing pleasure um, um in case uh, you don't know much about me uh, my instagram handle is akitaro to me i do have a twitter handle but i'm very quiet on there i just go there when talker is playing and i just you know check out the tweets because it's hilarious but if you want to see my wedding pictures then just go to akitaro tv i have a website as well akitaro and uh, um, i'm gonna share with you guys some of my you know images from my career i guess uh hopefully you can get an idea of of, of who i am of uh, uh what i can offer and uh, hopefully you can learn from me thank you